When patients start to see their scalp, very often they've lost up to 50% of their hair. And the earlier we treat, the better the results are. I'm so happy I came in early. So one of the big questions that comes up during consultation is, am I a good candidate? So what determines whether someone is a good candidate? Well, the earlier we treat a patient that's experiencing hair loss, the better. Okay? I saw a patient yesterday that was 15 years of age. He had a strong family history of hair loss. And I'll tell you, with therapy, he's gonna see an explosive response to the treatments. He's gonna see hair growth that is probably gonna be better than someone in their 70s or 80s that's, that's undergoing treatments. The sooner a patient undergoes treatment after starting to experience hair loss, the better the results. We wanna catch this situation when the hairs have become thinner and finer, but the follicles haven't disappeared yet. Those are the people that have the best results. So if a patient has lost all the hair, are there options? The answer is yes. There are follicular unit transplants that are done, in other words, hair transplants. And these are much better today. And those are for people that really have bare scalp. The back of the head, what we call the occiput, is an area where hair generally doesn't go away. So we can use hairs from that area and transplant them to other parts of the scalp. So the patients that have had hair transplants typically do the same kinds of things that a patient would do that's just merely experiencing hair thinning and early hair loss. Platelet-rich plasma therapies, low-level laser therapies, nutritional supplements, even prescription medicine at times. So we want the transplanted hair to live forever. We want it to become thicker and more plentiful. So these therapies are really for everyone. Unfortunately, a lot of people think that hair loss is something that just males suffer, and that's absolutely not true. The pattern of hair loss is different in a male than a female. A female will oftentimes notice that the part starts to become wider, and then the hair becomes finer in the front of the head before they lose hair in the back part of the head. The key is to stimulate that hair growth, to thicken the hair as it's thinning, and to make that part, which is widening, start to come back and, and look like nothing's ever happened. The key is early intervention, not waiting to a point where there's no hair present. Unfortunately, by the time they've really started to complain about hair loss, they've lost about 50% of the hair. So we want women to speak up early. If they're experiencing hair loss, talk to their cosmetic physician and ask if they're a good candidate for therapies. The earlier we treat, the better and the more effective the results are, and the less intervention that we need. And you really wanna see a physician that's knowledgeable. You can take a weekend course learning how to inject platelets into a scalp and, and, and start doing the treatment, but is that good enough? Not really. Number one is, how good are those platelets? How many platelets are there? How are you obtaining these platelets? How are you processing them? What depth are you injecting them? What are you mixing that platelet therapy with? Are you mixing it with ECM, uh, which is a cell of BioD, and what are you doing afterwards? Are you using light-based therapy in the office? Are you using microneedling in the office? There's many different ways of treating this, and that's just what we do in the office. At home, should a patient be using nutritional supplements? Should, should they be using prescription medicines? Are there a patient that should be using a low-level laser device? So there's much to this process today that we really didn't know four or five years ago. And now the science is there, the studies are there. We know this works and we're making patients happy every single day 